What's up guys and welcome back for another video. I wanted to share a quick tip with you guys. I have made um, a video on how to farm a lane way back in the day when I first started making videos and I have to admit it was pretty lengthy and I may have repeated myself a lot. So I want to just make a just a quick video just to show you guys what what the requirements are for you to farm Explore Mission 330. Now Explore Mission 330, you know, some people still may believe that it's not it's not be it's not able to you know it's not farmable which it is and the requirements are pretty simple for one you need your warp gate at a high enough level now i i can't tell you for sure exactly what level you need to get it at but once you get it high enough your arc you're able to get your commanders to a much higher level and the higher the commander level you see like 60 right here level 60 my stella my medusa you see the little level right here at the at the very top is a stellar level 60. So the higher the level of your commander, the more HP that your arc gets during battle. And if your H if your HP on your arc is high, it can take more hits from from those creeps and in, in explorers. So I'm going to quickly showcase that in just a moment. Let me just I'm going to show you with just a low leadership commander and how doable it is. So let me see, what is, so my Megan is 256 leadership, okay? So what you're going to need is you're going to need high dodge, okay? That's pretty much all you need. You need high dodge for the, for, for those missions. So I'm going to equip a, just, you know, a pretty, pretty crappy Thalamus booster dodge. Hopefully you guys have something better. I mean, I do have something better, but they're all equipped on my commanders and they're out farming right now. So I'm going to equip this Thalamus and a dodge. So again, preferably a class or above so you can equip this Thalamus. I'll also show, th I'll showcase this with a B class, which I have a few of, and their low leadership as well. So let me just quickly show you. So again, sorry, uh, Thalamus for dodge, Gale for dodge. <clears throat> and, but, you know, anything, just make sure you have dodge. Okay, and the key here is the configuration of your troops. So you want to select your troop and you want to put one ranger in the first column, okay? And then in the rest of the of the tiles, you want to put your highest tier troop. Now, pref it preferably, uh, like infantry will have a much easier time doing this mission because, of course, they have inherently higher dodge. But, you know, if you're a walker or airship, just make sure you have a high enough tier unit to where your dodge is going to help you. Okay, so I'll just do it with one bastion, or I'll just do full full bastion, five, it's just five. Okay, just the leadership's very low. Okay, so this will be the configuration. Okay, so what I did is before I even got bastion, I, I rushed... Um, T5 infantry because T5 infantry have pretty high dodge and they're not that expensive to get. So if you are an airship main or a walker main and you don't have T7 yet, just you know try to get T5. Just try to get T5 infantry. Uh, they, they will help you tremendously to farm this mission. Now you can use these rifles, you know, to craft. You can use them to sell in the market, or you can just sell them just for for the minimum amount in your bag. When you open your bag and you go to your uh, to your equipment, you can just sell them right there, and it's just it's a, it's a it's a great source of melange. Okay, melange. Sorry. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna let this re play out all the way, so you guys can see what happens when my rangers die. Okay. So the only way this is going to, going to work is if you can kill the the enemy arc faster than they can kill your arc. But you're gonna see how much damage those airships do to your arc. Okay, see look, that's nothing, like that's pebble damage, okay, just look at my health bar down below, now keep in mind the only reason I can get away with this is because I have a high level commander, right, I have my commander at max level, level 60, and look how, look how much my bastion are chunking away at the enemy arc, and compare that to how much damage those airship are doing to my arc, so because I get, because I get to their arc faster than mine, you know, I win, obviously, okay, so, now the cool thing about this is if you wanted to drain all of your energy on this one mission, you know, right, just to get the maximum amount of drops, all you got to do is just hit confirm and you just, oh nice, magazine. So you just, you can just keep attacking. You don't have to refill that ranger, okay? And you're going to see just how, just uh, how, or how I'm able to beat this mission still without those rangers there, okay? I'm just going to fast forward it, okay? Now look, look how low my health gets. It doesn't get that low, so... 
So yeah, guys. So you can do this with all your commanders. Hopefully, you have. You just need high enough dodge, and that's it. That's all you really need. Uh, or sorry, you also need that high arc health. Okay. If you have a low commander level, you know, and if and again, commander level the cap at your of your commander level is based on the level of your warp gate, which is why I mentioned earlier why you need a high enough level warp gate. Okay. So. I'm going to try it with a B or a B class commander which I cannot equip a Thalamus booster on, okay? Just so I can show you guys uh, how doable it is. I think my exorcist is low leadership. Let me see. 304, not bad. So I'm going to put my Gale on him and that's pretty much all I can provide my exorcist with in terms of dodge. Now, you guys can uh use you know other dodge or chess pieces that have dodge in them like i have body of phoenix i could use this as well just to be safe just to give my exorcist more dodge you can also use invincible okay invincible gives is a chess piece that does give uh, that does give dodge but it i think it I'm pretty sure it only applies to walkers so let's just try this out and then i can show you guys Again, if you want, you can make a preset, and I've, I've made a preset for this already, so it's usually my one. Yeah, there we go. So I'll, sh I'll show you with Ranger, with Master now, okay? Okay, here we go. So again, same thing, same concept. You just want to get to the enemy arc before they get to yours. I'm going to fast forward it, and then I'm going to see if I win. All right, see, like I won. Okay, so, oh, I actually lost 20 Master there, and that makes sense because... If you notice, if you can see where I lost those masters, it was against the walkers, okay? So, I don't have enough dodge right here, okay? I do not have enough dodge. So, hopefully you guys can get... So, with a B class or below, you have to have more dodge, okay? Obviously, because you're not allowed to put that Thalamus, okay? So, yeah, that's 330, guys. If you want to farm it, get those rifles if you want to farm equipment or if you want to just sell them on the market for, for, for you know, if you want to just sell them and people are willing to buy them. Or you can simply open your items, your inventory, go to your equipment and scroll down to where your rifles are. And you can just sell them from here. You can do a bulk sell. And it's a good source of melange, okay? Now, keep in mind that you can own, there are a maximum of 500 attempts for explore missions. It used to be unlimited way back in the day, but then they, you know, they fixed that. So... Yeah, guys, hope this helped. Um, hope you fully this helps if you guys want to farm a lange to upgrade that gear. All right. So there are other explore missions that you can farm as well, but I'll be making other videos on that. Okay, so hopefully this helped again. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.